pleasant afternoon. Welcome to the World News on Aliamoye TV and Radio. I am Uluwafi Sayomi Aitubola. Here are the top stories. Organized labor set for nationwide protest as last minute meeting ends in deadlock. Ogun Assembly to screen commissioner nominees today. Free the government begins distributions of farm inputs to farmers. Former U.S. President charged with plotting to overturn 2020 election. And in sport, FIFA to pay World Cup prize money directly to players. Details of these and more coming up shortly. Do stay with us. Welcome back. Now the news in detail. Organized labor, including the Nigerian Labor Congress and the Trade Union Congress, this morning began a nationwide protest over the hike in the pump price of petrol and other issues. The NLC in a statement on Tuesday night by its president, Comrade Doha Jairo, dismissed report that it had suspended the nationwide protest. The Labour leader had on Tuesday evening met with government representatives over the issues. But Ajairo said the meeting could not be resolved to the demands of the workers. The special advisor to President Bola Tinubu on media and publicity, Ajuri Ngaleli, says the administration is committed to a free press. Addressing reporters on Tuesday, Ngaleli said the Tinubu's administration seeks to promote transparency, hold public office orders accountable, and open up presidency to the public. He added that the administration will ensure a zero-tolerance policy towards media rep repression institutional arrogance in government communications. The Senate on Tuesday continued the screening of ministerial nominees with nine more nominees screened. The Senate had on Monday began screening exercise with 14 out of the 28 nominees screened. Those screened on Tuesday include former Ebony State Governor David Umai, former Kaduna State Governor Nasser El Rufai, or Lawali Edun, Wahid Adelabu, Ekweri Pike Ekbo, Stella Akotete, and Ananatu Musawa. The upper legislative chamber, however, postponed the screening of the remaining five ministerial nominees to the next legislative sitting day. The presidential election petition court has reserved judgment in the petition filed by the presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, Aliagi Atiku Abubakar, and Labour Party, Peter Obi. The five-man panel, led by Justice Harun Asmanani, reserved judgment to date to be communicated to the parties following the adoption of final written address on Tuesday. Atiku and Obi, who were both present in court on Tuesday, asked the tribunal to do invalidate the victory of President Bola Tinubu on the ground that he is not qualified to stand for election. But the respondent, which include President Bola Tinubu, his party, the All Progressive Congress, and the Independent National Electoral Commission asked the court to dismiss the petitions. Chief of Naval Staff Emmanuel Ogala says the Nigerian Navy will turn the tide against criminal elements in the nation's maritime environment. Speaking during a familiarization tour of the Eastern Naval Command on Tuesday, Ogala promised to enhance, to enhance the welfare of its officers and ratings. While noting that security is a collective responsibility, the Naval Chief asks for collaboration from all stakeholders and members of the public. The Ogun State House of Assembly will this Wednesday screen the commissioner nominees of Governor Dakpo Abiodun. The Speaker of the Assembly, Ola Kunle Oluomo, during this Tuesday plenary, unveiled the names of the eight commissioners nominees sent to the Assembly by Governor Abiodun. The Speaker asked the commissioner nominees to appear before the House at 12 noon this Wednesday. The commission nominees are Dr. Tomi Koka, Dapo Okubadejo, Professor Abayami Arigbabu, Engineer Adi Adesonya, Ganiu Amzat, Jami Omoni. Uluwashino Gumbade and Ola Ulu Ola Binton. The nominees were commissioners in Governor Biodon's first term in office and were appointed after his second term's inauguration as special advisors. The Nigerian Safety Investigation Bureau has launched an investigation 
into two days crash involving a light single airplane in the Keja area of Lagos State. The aircraft was on a test flight with two passengers on board before it crashed ground at Oba Akran area of Ikeja. Governor Babajide Sawolu visited the site of the crash, commended the efforts of all first responders as well as residents who joined in the rescue mission. The two occupants of the aircraft were rescued have been attended to at the hospital. The August State Chapter of Nigerian Institute of Public Relations will on Thursday honor four distinguished Nigerians at its 2023 Hanwha Colloquums. According to a statement by the State Chairman of NIPR, Uluwashi Mboye and Secretary Kunle Olayeni will have the Yogun State Governor Dr. Fabi Odasi Special Guest of Honor. The event will hold at the Cinema Hall, June 12th Cultural Centre, Kuto Abe Okuta. Personality to be conferred with award as former Deputy Governor of Central Bank of Nigeria, Mr. Tunde Lemon, two-time Commissioner in Ndo State and Senior Consultant of former Governor Abiodu, Mr. Kyle Akimadi, former Board Chairman, Nigerian Deposit Insurance Corporation, Mrs. Ronke Shokefun, and Otumba Wale Ogumbadejo Ogumbayo. You are listening to the World News on Aliyamuye TV and Radio. Still to come after this break, business, foreign and sport. Do stay with us. In business, the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, has exempted microfinance banks and primary mortgage banks from paying processing fees for withdrawals above the cash withdrawals limits. This is contained in a circular issued on Monday and signed by Musa Jimo. Director of Payment System Management Department. The APS Bank had in January imposed the processing fee of 3 and 5% on individuals and corporate organizations withdrawing above the approval over the counter limits. The federal government says it has commenced the distribution of subsidized farm input to small older farmers across the north western states of the country. This is containing a statement by the Principal Information Officer, Federal Minister of Agriculture and Rural Development, Mrs. Mebel Obey, on Tuesday in Abuja. She said the distribution that was carried out by the Ministry through the National Agricultural Growth Scheme and Agro Pockets. Obey said the initiative would boost food and nutrition security, attract private sector investment, reduce post harvest losses as well as value to local agriculture produce. On the foreign scene, in what is becoming a series of running legal battles, former U.S. President Donald Trump has been criminally charged with plotting to overturn his 2022 elections defeat. He is accused of all counts, including conspiracy, to defraud the U.S. tampering with a witness and conspiracy against the right of citizens. The indictment caps an injury an inquiry into events surrounding the January 6, 2021 riot at the U.S. Capitol. He is already charged in two other cases with mishandling classified files and falsifying business records to cover up a hush money payment to a porn star. Iran on Tuesday announced a nationwide two-day holiday over increasing temperatures. Government spokesperson Ali Bahoudri said the decision to close governmental offices, banks and schools on Wednesday and Thursday came after the health ministry warned about a possible increase in cases of heat exhaustion because of high temperatures in the country. In recent days, cities and towns in Iran saw temperatures around 40 degrees Celsius. And lastly in sports. Football World Governing Body, FIFA, has announced that the 2023 World Cup prize money will be paid directly to players without interference from a third party. In a viral video on social media, FIFA Secretary General Fatman Samora said the policy change is due to unpaid allowances issues involving the Nigerian Super Falcons. FIFA had announced that every player participating in the World Cup group stage will earn $30,000. The March bonuses will increase to $60,000 in the second round of the competition. The Super Falcons are qualified for the round of 16 
after finish second in Group B and will play European champion England on Monday for a place in the quarterfinal. To transfer stories, Chelsea have signed 19-year-old midfielder Leslie Gochuku from the French side Rennes on a seven-year contract. The teenager moves to Stanford Bridge for a reported fee of £23.5 million. Meanwhile, Saudi league side Han Asar has announced the signing of Bayern Munich striker Sadio Mane. The Senegalese international is the latest high-profile player to join the cash rich Saudi league and will link up with five-time Ballon de Hall winner Cristiano Dorado at the club. That was the world news. To end the world news, there is a quick recap of the major headlines. We did tell you that the organized labor is embarking on nationwide protest as last-minute meeting ends in deadlock. The Open Assemblies to screen commissioner nominees today. In, the, in business, we told you that the federal government begins distributions of farm inputs to farmers. And on the foreign scene, former U.S. president charged with plotting to overturn 2020 election. And lastly, in sports, we told you that FIFA is set to pay World Cup prizes money directly to players. For details, do join us on www.aliamoyetvradio.com. Our social media handles at TV. It's on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Thank you for being part of today's news. I am Oluwafisayomi Ajibala. Do enjoy the rest of your day.